Shalom, welcome to Rakamah Kaposh. Hey, Shalom, I'm Afqua. Okay, we're going to start by saying, Oh, praise Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. The Lord honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and honors that there to the brethren and the highest bodies, teaching the truth and all sincerity. Okay, this lesson um, is going to be, be on, um, you know, what happens when you betray the Lord, man. Okay, because no, no brother in this true company should ever, ever think about, you know, turn, turning their back on the Lord, man, because there are, there are consequences for it. Right. You know, people think, oh yeah, you know, if you lose the faith, you know, people think they can just, you know, get out, you know, just drop out and do whatever they want to do, man. But, you know, it's like a, you know, we use the expression of like, it's like a mafia, man. You don't, you don't leave, <laughs> you don't just leave, man. Not that we going to do you anything, you know, whatever with you, man, to hell with you, man. You want to leave, you know, do that. But once you, once you put your hand on the plow, to do the work of the Lord, man, and for you to turn your back on the Lord, man, there's there's a, a judgment for you, man. Okay, there there is consequences for for that betrayal, man. Okay, uh, Judas Judas found out. Okay, and Judas is there as an example for for all of us, man. Okay, that that turn their back on the Lord. Okay, so it's it's not a simple case of like, oh, I don't believe this anymore. I'm just gonna drop out. I'm gonna go back into the world, or I'm gonna follow somebody else and teach a different doctrine or whatever man it, it you know it's not as simple as that okay you don't, don't ever think you're ever loose okay because once you've known this truth that's it you know you will you'll be judged and uh, judged based upon that that you left the truth okay and you know unless you repent and, and return there is no uh, there is no other way to um to make that right okay so we're going to start here in um matthew chapter chapter 26 Okay, verse 24. Uh, this is Matthew 26, verse 24. It says, The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him, but who <clears throat> unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed? It had been good for that man if he had not been born. All right, so, you know, this is talking about specifically about Judas. Okay, because the Lord, the Shai was, was betrayed by Judas. Okay, one of the, one of the um, well, and the Lord's chosen. Initially, um, it says here, man, it, it, it would have been better if he never even existed. You know, such is, is his punishment, you know, and he, he, met a, he met a gruesome end, you know, which we're going to get in a second, which is in, if you get me uh, up, Acts chapter 1, verse 16. But yeah, he felt great, great shame for what he did. To the Lord, man, giving him up, giving him up to the um, Romans for um, for some shekels, man, for some money, and a lot of guys are taking money, man, to not teach this truth, man. That they've known it and refuse to teach it any longer. Okay, and that's why you know the, the expression is you know the Judas purse. Quick reset. You know, one second. Not. So it's just you know a lot of these guys they've they've taken money to stop teaching the word or or to um to uh augment it, you know, to change things up, change the doctrine. You know, they've done that. You know, you know, they've gotten they've taken a five oh one C three charter to run their 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 church, they you know, mm -hmm. tax free and all that kind of stuff, man. You know, they they've taken it in in a purse in some form or another, man, and they're no longer teaching the truth, man. They're teaching their own doctrine. Mm -hmm. You know, whether they've been told to teach a specific thing or not to teach, teach a specific thing. As the case may be, and that's why the Lord's name is not put out like how we put it out, you know, or the RFID chip. That's not be that's not put out like how we put it out, you know. Some of you guys don't even touch on that. Okay, so you know you you've been um, uh, what's the word, man? You you've been strangled, man. You can't talk. Yeah, they're trying to be PC with it. Mm. Trying to um, make things smooth. They want to, they want to prophesy things smooth, man. Yeah, they don't want no trouble, man. You know, they want to seem controversial, but really they don't want no trouble. Okay, so they're, they're nice and polished and smooth around the edges. You know, some like some of these cats' faces, man. <laughs> okay. Go on, yeah. Oh, you get your precept up, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, mm. they have erred from the faith, erred from the faith, and pierce themselves through with many sorrows. That's right, man. Because, you know, they, they were sick and tired of being broke or having it hard, man. You know, having having issues with the women because, you know, you know, their women expect more from them. 
or whatever, man. So, you know, man's under stress, man gives in. You know, to whatever temptation or pressures that are around him, he gives in, man. And he's like, oh, I need to make, I need to make this money, man. Now, you know, if the Lord wills it, man, you know, you, you can, you can get, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, if you don't have, that's just what it is. You know what I mean? There's, there's nothing, to, nothing to say that um, you can't get, but we all expect and we all know and understand that, you know, there's a, there's a good chance in this truth, man, you, you, you know, things are going to be difficult, man. You know, whether that be financially or, or whatever, okay? But the Lord always provides you, man. You know, where he's, he always provides you, he always gets you through it. You know, brother's been through many situations. You know, the Lord provides some sort of way to get through it, man. You know, it doesn't seem like it's possible. So, um, yeah. So yeah. only because you, only because you're in the street, don't mean you go be broke. But you know, you're gonna find things difficult anyway. Yeah, it's a lack. It's a lack of faith. You know, that's the theme of of what we're talking about here, man. It's a lack of faith, and because of their lack of faith, Satan is able to run amok with their minds. Mm -hmm. All right. So them having a lack of faith, looking at at the looking at those type of individuals and the characteristics or different examples you'll see in the scriptures, the, the, their, their, their mind is all over the place, especially with the doctrine, because then they start doubt, doubting the doctrine. You've seen guys that fall out with guys on a personal level, mm -hmm. but really it, it's just to show you that which, inside which, of them the problem Which, which is always. dumb, because this, this is not about individuals, this is not about me or you, you know, me or this brother. We're all here trying to seek our own salvation, and you know, as, you know, brother you love would, would demand if you really have sincerity in that in that mentality of brotherly love then you know you work with your brothers man you know what i mean if you don't see eye to eye then you don't see eye to eye that doesn't doesn't mean that he ain't a man of lord or you ain't a man of lord because you don't see eye to eye if you're thinking evil up, upon your brother then that you know that's wickedness mm -hmm. you know what i mean and you know you need to check yourself on that but if you just don't see eye to eye you just don't see eye to eye man you know continue doing what you're doing you know let him continue what he's doing man he's seeking his own salvation he doesn't have to be your best friend you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, that's not a requirement, you know, but we are meant to be brothers to each other. So, you know, we, we um, conduct ourselves in a brotherly manner. Okay, you can have disputes among brothers, man. That's that's not unusual, man. I mean, we've got, we've got instances, in, instances in the scriptures, man. I think with Paul and, and, and John, mm. you know, they didn't see eye to eye, man. And they, they went their separate ways, but they continued doing, doing the work of the Lord, which is the, the most important thing. Okay, but if you had understanding, that you, you understand that, you know, it's not about individual relationships per se in terms of your salvation, man. So don't, don't, don't get all, um, um, what's bent it? Out of shape. Yeah, bent out of shape just, just because you have a disagreement with a brother or whatever, man. You yeah, know? And, and what I was really going to say is, um, you got guys out there that will teach certain parts of the truth, but things that ain't as like accepted or difficult for a man to swallow, they they just literally give up that part of the doctrine. Like there's certain men that you're not supposed, you, you don't have to push that on them yet. They this is a growing thing, but mm -hmm. nonetheless, they just don't teach that at all. Which all things are part of the doctrine, and the Lord Yahweh Shai said, "I come in the volume of the book." So they <laughs> this all the whole truth has to be pushed, man. And there's guys that will leave it out, hoping that no one will clock onto it. Because really, the truth is, they have that lack of faith and that doubt in their mind regarding those 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 um, parts of the doctrine. And if they have a pro issue with, <laughs> they have an issue with one part, then they have an issue with the whole whole doctrine. A, a little leaven, leaven lift the lift up the whole lump, lump, man. That's right, man. Like I said, you know, you don't agree with a particular scripture. You know, that's that's just you, man. You know, you got to pray with the most high for understanding, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, the elders are our elders, the apostles are our apostles, you know, they're the ones that brought us into this thing and, and taught us this, this truth. Now, if you don't agree with that, then you can do your own thing. Okay, and, and we'll, 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 we'll see at the end whether or not you was right or not. But um, as far as we're concerned, man, you know, you, you separate from us, man, you, you're doing your own thing. You know what I mean? It ain't no, no, ain't no personal enmity unless there is, there is personal things involved. You know, because some of you, you, you guys that have dropped out are straight demons, man. Have been demons to brothers, man. So, 
you know, but um, if you believe, if you truly believe that man, do what you're doing, innit? and then we'll find that. It doesn't mean you're not going to hear from us when, when you hear, when, you, when we hear you teach some madness. Okay, we're going to correct. Okay, we're going to rebuke just like we're commanded to do, man. So don't be surprised. We ain't getting on you just because, you know, we, like we have a personal hatred for anybody, any, anybody out there. This is just the defense of the gospel, you know? That's right. Acts 1 and 16. Men and brethren, this scripture must needs have been fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas, which was guide to them that took Yahushai, for he was numbered with us and had obtained part of his this ministry. Right, so the, so Yahushai picked him as a, as a disciple, man, as a as an apostle initially, of the, you know, of the twelve, you know, and you know, being a, being a part of the twelve, that's a great reward, man. You know, and he and he he squandered that man. He gave that all up just for some shekels, man. Cause he he had doubt, he had fear. You know, yeah, he agreed, man. He didn't believe. Okay, and there's a lot of guys. You know, they start off zealous. Judas probably started off zealous. Now he was into it and that, but he just he didn't like certain things. He you know he things certain things rubbed him up the wrong way, and it was like this can't be the Lord. Or, or where he was going through his mind, man. You know. Hey, that's that's why that's why Paul exalted Timothy. He exalted Timothy, man, um, um, concerning the truth, man, and be zealous, you know, and, and passionate, man, and and build other brothers up mm -hmm. because you had other guys around the time of Paul that weren't so passionate, that lost faith, and it, and like 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 the brother was saying, man, you come into this thing, but a lot of guys in this truth, the reason why they fall out later on and they was on fire for a minute. Is because it's because they get bored. They they believe this truth is boring. Like mm -hmm. they believe they all of a sudden they know it. All. Well, I, but they I, get bored. I, I guess a lot of them, like like I mentioned earlier, people start to feel like certain things rub them the wrong way because they don't believe this is how it should be done or this. They got their own mind, their own. Um, they're very uh, what's it called? Um, willful. Mm -hmm. You know. They, because they believe the Lord is dealing with them now. They got some sort of higher perspective than than the elders and the apostles and the brothers above them. That you know they got some higher perspective somehow. Mm. Now it, it don't really work like that. Okay, it's, it's not to say a brother can't be brought up on a level, man. But don't don't expect to be shooting as as high as the apostles, man, and, and telling the apostles what's right and what's wrong. <laughs> They're the men that have been set up to teach everybody else, you know. And without them, we wouldn't have this this truth. Okay, so you know people are punching above their stations. They believe, you know, believe in their own vain opinion. You know, like I said, Judas, you know, when um, uh, what was it when Mary washed the Lord's feet with the ointment, Judas had something to say. Oh, that could have been used for this, that, the other. But in his mind, that's not. He didn't care about that. He he, he just thought, oh, the Lord would have done something, you know, whatever. He he, he was on his own mind, man. Okay, he he was a, a willful, wicked person at the end of the day. Okay, and a lot of these guys, you know, that you show you show yourselves to be men just like that. You know, because soon as you know, as soon as you have a disagreement, man, you're, you're cursing out the elders, you you get kicked out, and this kind of stuff, man. That's some bitch moves, man. Okay, if you get kicked out, you get kicked out, man. Fuck it. But why would you bow mouth the the elders, the apostles, man? These are men of the law. You you didn't become a a, a super prophet overnight. Okay, that's not your station, man. Okay, you you've not just suddenly surpassed the elders and now you're the, the leaders of Israel. That's that's not what happened. Okay, so just keep your mouth shut, man. It's it's wiser to keep your mouth shut. Okay, rather than bad mouth bad mouth, you know, elder brothers, brothers and apostles that are, are you know ahead of you, man. Okay, that actually have faith. Okay, and that the Lord is actually dealing with. Okay, but like I said, Judas here is 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 an um, example unto us, man. Not to you know, not to do what these guys are doing, man. Okay, betraying the Lord, turning their back on this doctrine, this this work. Okay, on the Lord. Okay, because that's what they're only doing. I don't care if they're trying to you know nice up saying, oh yeah, well, we're still teaching. We just don't believe what the elders apostles say. No, what the elders apostles are teaching, man, is the truth of Yahweh Shai. That's right. Okay, and that's just what it is, man. You turn your back if you're not teaching that. You teach something else, man, that's another doctrine, man. That ain't, that ain't about the Lord. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so you turn your back on Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, especially you, you, you want to call upon his name and that. You know what I mean? You've betrayed the Lord. Okay, yeah, continue reading on. Um, this is verse, oh, verse 18. Now, this man purchased the field with the reward of iniquity, mm -hmm. and falling headlong, he burst asunder into the midst. And all his bowels gushed out. All right, so that's what happened to Judas. Okay, because he, you know, he, he felt great shame, and the story is that he he hung himself, man, and then this is what happened to him. <laughs> you know, he fell, and the guts burst up, open on all over the field, man. Okay, now he's got to live with that for well, he has to live with it then, you know, and and any time he's reminded, he got to live with that shame, knowing that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah, it's two more verses on that. And it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, insomuch as the field is called in their proper tongue, a which, which is the Hebrew tongue. The proper tongue is the Hebrew tongue, okay. A cell dama, that is to say, the field of blood, all right? For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his habitation, habitation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein. And his bishop bishopric let another take. All right, so you know he was cursed. You know, based on that, he was written, pre-written. Okay, um, do you give me uh, Second Peter chapter two, verse seventeen up, and read down to um, the twenty-second verse. Second Peter two and seventeen. It says. These are walls without water. Walls, walls, walls. Oh, sorry, sorry. These are wells without water. Clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the midst of darkness is reserved forever. All right, so these are wells. These these types of people are wells without water, man. They're empty, without substance. Okay, and like you know, faith is a, is a, is a great substance a, a man should have in his faith, in his truth. Okay, because it's what's going to drive you through it, man. Your belief is what's going to drive you, man. If you don't believe me, you're going to stop short. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to fall short. And then you're not going to, you know, have that zeal you had at the beginning. You ain't going to, yeah, you might not even go out no more. You know, all these things we've seen in, in the past with, 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 you know, past brothers, you know, they've been in the truth. It was hot, you know, doing, doing all kind of you know, good works and that. And they look very studious and all this kind of stuff. But, at the end of the day, man, they ran out of gas, and that gas was the faith, you know. And they stopped short, and then they start going out of their minds. They transform into into some demon, man, you know. And we, you know, the, the, you know, the, the apostles would know, man. The the, the the list of names, man, is, is is a large list now. You know, they would know better than me. But you know, we've seen many many guys go out that way, man. You know, they seem real hot on it. Real, they were real about it, but then the next few minutes they do what they want, mm -hmm. and then there, there ain't no there ain't no fire no more, you know. Carry on. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape from them who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are. The servants of corruption. So you got a lot of guys that do that, man. They'll leave GMS and then they'll be told like, oh, you know, you need to get out of GMS. You need to, you know, mm -hmm. join join us or join somebody else or, you know, because they got the real truth. They they promise liberty away from 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 the elders, the apostles, because somehow we, you know, this we're so tyrannical or, you know, we ain't got, we ain't got the truth. But the majority of these people that are out there on the hours and bar, if they're out there at all. All hold hold the doctrines that GMS teach to, yeah. to the most part. You know, the Gentiles think that's that's from the orders and the apostles, man. From the apostles. So, you know, and that's the thing that was uh that people didn't agree with back then, back in the old school. But now is the thing that most people, you know, they, they understand that now. Okay, but you know, they will never give credit to, to the to the older to, to the apostles mm -hmm. on that now. And they being one of them. Okay, okay, so you know a lot of these guys they 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 try to convince other people to join them or join somebody else as long as it ain't GMS because 
you know, all of a sudden, you know, because we said some things or teach some things you don't like, then we automatically don't have the truth anymore. You know, so it, it's, it's hypocritical, man, because like I said, you didn't become the, the main guy in Israel overnight. So what 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 revelation you got? You know, to, to for you to say that. You know that you can offer liberty, like right? because you know because of the doctrine that you teach. You don't know shit, man. You're still playing by ear. Okay, you're still waiting to hear what the apostles have got to say, man. <laughs> okay, you you ain't got nothing yourself. Okay, and that's why everybody should should remind themselves that end up dropping out. You never got nothing yourself, man. Okay. Um. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, just clicked on the word liberty. Mm. Uh, outline of biblical usage just to edify the brothers it says liberty to do or to omit things having no relationship to salvation uh, okay. fancied liberty license the liberty to do as one pleases that's the doctrine of the devil man mm. that's that dude that is, that's some satanist uh, uh, doctrine man mm. to do to do as thy will and that's spirit. what these guys want to do they want to do what they want so they they encourage somebody else to to do what they want. Don't follow GMS because you know we're strict, you know because because we teach the law, <laughs> you know we teach what the law actually says, you know. But you know they they, they don't want to they want they don't want to live under under rulership. Okay, they don't want to live under the commandments of the elders, the apostles, man. They don't want to have people above them telling them what to do. But here it is, man. Yahweh Shai told them people what to do. And the apostles told people what to do. Okay, there was there was order and, and hierarchy, man. And the orders come down, man. You you better get in line, man. Okay, that's just that's how it's set up. Okay, if you don't like order, then this thing ain't for you. I'm not even talking about GMS. I'm talking about this truth period. It ain't for you, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, you how much I don't want a, 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 a an ungrateful bastard. You know, a, a British bastard, you know, in the mist, man. Okay, there's a, there's an order to this thing, man, and we, have, we all have to respect our, our positions that we all carry, man. Okay? The word there in the Greek is alu feria. Alu feria. Right, and I'm going to go back to the, to the scripture. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are servants of corruption. So that's just politics. Yeah, they're corrupted souls, man. For of whom, so they're just trying to gain favor. Uh, for of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. You want verse 20 up? Yeah, down to 22 up, please. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, they are again entangled therein and overcame. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Right. So they had they had the knowledge. They had liberty. They actually had liberty within their within their hands with this knowledge. Okay, because Yahweh Shai is going to set us free, man. Okay, they actually had it, but because they they didn't like it, they didn't they they went back and ensnared themselves, man, entangled themselves with with the works of wickedness, and then and then pushing that like that's freedom, that's liberty, man. You could do what you want that way. Well, yeah, you can, you, well, you can <laughs> but you're going to be judged for it. You're going to be destroyed. Okay? Yahweh Shai ain't trying to hear that, man. Okay? You can, you can catch a missile with everybody else. Okay? And then, um, yeah, it says here that the latter end is worse than, than, than the beginning. So when you come in this, into this truth, man, you know, we were, you know, we were wicked. Okay? We were niggers in the world, man. You know, doing whatever it is that we were doing, man. So we weren't nothing before we came in this truth, man. But it says here that once you once you receive this truth, man, and you and you turn your back on it, man, you become worse than what you was before you even came in this truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that. I think that's Matthew the twelfth <laughs> chapter, man. Well, I, I, yeah, I'll put it up here. Uh, I'll bring that in a second, but yeah, man, that 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 just that just shows you something, man. Okay. That you once you committed to this thing, man, you gotta be committed to this thing. Okay, there ain't no turning back, man. You're only gonna end up worse. And then we watch a lot of guys end up worse, man. Okay, after they they they've fallen off, man. Okay. Uh, yes, we don't know. Yeah. 
um, Second Peter 2 and 21, for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. That's right. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and so that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. So you went back and doing, doing your old bullshit, man. Okay, you had the truth. You know, you could, you could have received salvation. You could have lived a better life. Okay, yes, there's, you know, trials and that they, everyone has to go through in order to get that salvation, but the reward is, is immense. Okay, but you want to give all that up, man, just so you can go back to your wicked bullshit ways. Mm -hmm. You know, that's lunacy, man. That, that's craziness. Okay, but like I said, you, you, you're going to end up worse than how you started off, man. Okay. Um, this is, you, uh, you, Luke. Okay. I said you can get that one in Matthew. You, you, you was um, saying okay. if you want. Uh, this is Matthew 7. Was it uh, 7? Yeah, Matthew 7 and okay. 22. Many will say to me in the in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Right, if you're not of the Lord's chosen, man, then you ain't of the Lord's chosen. There's nothing you can do about that, man. But, you know, if you if you stick with, with the elders, the apostles of GMS, man, you got a better chance than if you don't. Okay, because at the end of the day, you know, we believe that all these apostles, they have the truth, man. The Lord is dealing with them. They are the heads of Israel as at this point in time. Okay, and their doctrine is the true doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Okay, so if you roll with, with GMS, then, you know, you, Lord willing, you be brought up the right way with the right doctrine. You have a better chance of making it with us than, than without us, you know, being with somebody else and learning underneath them. You know, but... You know, it's, it's all the Lord's will at the end of the day, man. The Lord don't want you in the, he doesn't want you in his fold, then you ain't going to be in his fold. He's going to find some way to get you out of there. You know, so everybody needs to remember that the Lord can get rid of anybody at any time, man, if he really wants it. Okay, if you ain't chosen, then there ain't nothing, none of us can say or do about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so every brother, brother, you know, hey, it's a blessing that we're still in this truth, man, doing what we got to do, man. Okay, all those apostles say something, man, hey, do it. Okay, it's for your own benefit. Mm -hmm. Okay, all those apostles want you to do free videos. It's for your benefit, man. It ain't nothing to do with the apostles, man. Okay, they're seeking their own, their own salvation just like any any one of us are. Okay, but everything that they, they command, every, every order that they put out is for your own benefit to help you. Okay, there's many things you know, over the years that the, the, the apostles have you know, banned or commanded. And it's all for the betterment. It's all for the ministry, man. That's right. You know, to to help brothers out there, man, to stay on the path, okay? Because if they like, you know the thing with the free videos, yeah, maybe some people don't like it, or whatever, man. But it, it shows you active, man. Okay, it keeps you active, rather than being sitting idle the majority of the time. You know, at least at least there's actually yeah, the apostles are actually getting you to do something, man, because <laughs> you fear being called out. <laughs> That's just what it is. You fear being called out, okay? But you shouldn't just fear being called out, man. You should fear the Lord, mm -hmm. okay? And we, we're, we're meant to be active, okay? That's that's part of the ministry. We're active. So free videos, you know, it ain't nothing really, man. It, come on, man. Like, who can really complain? Scriptures tell you, man, um, the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. So that's, that's why it's important to be doing the videos, man. It, 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 they don't, the apostles or men, man, we've got our own lives and so forth, man. Brothers that go out and teach this work. But ultimately, man, we've got to feel responsible in our own selves to go and, go and, go and reap, man. Mm. Ain't no brother going to do the work for you, man. Okay? Ain't no brother, you know, is, is you know, putting works that's going to go towards your salvation, man. So you got to do what you got to do, man. Okay? You don't want to do videos? Don't do videos then. Then see what happens to you, innit? Mm -hmm. You know, I you know I would I I don't want to chance that. <laughs> I don't know why you know niggas want to play games, man. You know, 
oh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do, I don't want to do these videos, or I'll do one video, and then I just want to chill. If that's what you want to do, do that, man. You know, since since the commandment comes out, yeah, we we will feel a bit under, you know, under the pressure. Like, yeah, we've got to do this, we got to do this. But that's the good, that's a good thing. Okay, like I said, it, it you know causes you to be more active. Okay, which we all should be. Okay, we've all got to do this work at the end of the day, man. And any, anything that comes down from from the apostles, man, is for your own betterment, man. So don't, you know, I, I know it might have rubbed some guys up the wrong way that are in GMS, but at the end of the day, man, it is what it is, man. Just do it. Just do it, man. What, what's the what's the problem, man? Okay. Well, said, this is Romans 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offences contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them for they that are such serve not our lord yahweh shai but their own belly and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple man so the point is man you're not supposed to want to you're supposed to avoid guys like like nate satan you're supposed to avoid guys um that come in that that do is your will they will spirit those guys that value um, their, their money and their, their so-called life and value this world over the world of Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. You're supposed to avoid those, those, those vain people, man. Yeah, well, it just shows you that people are so attached to things in this world, man, and they've not really truly given it up yet. You know what I mean? There's, there's still things we're in contact with in this world, okay? But, you know, it is what it is, man. If it goes, it goes. You know, but it's it's not it's not it's not a chain unto us, <laughs> okay? You know, we we, we well, I mean, speak for myself, man. These things in the world, man, they they've been done away with already, man. The kingdom is just something that's waiting to happen. So these things in the world, man, they they everything is temporal, man. So why are you clinging on to it? You know it's gonna disappear. <laughs> you know it's gonna go. So why why bother? Cling on to that, man. Like it's gonna, you know, it's gonna do anything for you, man. Yeah, it's, guys, it's here as long as it's here, and it's not here. It's not here, man. Don't cry, <laughs> guys. You know, guys want to um, filter this word through like it's PG. You know that that Christianity doctrine. Scripture just said, um, but they, uh, they for they are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. That's them Christians, man. The Christians are out there doing that 100%. They out there smooth words, all those, all those talks that you want to hear. But how do they rebuke? Do they, do they hurt a man's feelings? But by in righteousness, telling you the truth, man. That, that's just, uh, that's why the, uh, the Lord Yahweh said, man, woe to them that offenses must come. Cause you have, if you, if you're a real man of the Lord, you're going to, brother might say something you ain't heard of before. You're like, oh man, like, let me let me digest that let me think about it meditate on it pray on it and then the lord will reveal it and say oh man all right cool i had to get used to that man like the rape doctrine and like certain things people get offended by i didn't personally but you know there are things that you need you need to become accustomed or not become accustomed but you just need to accept that well this is like you don't have to cut you off but this is the thing when you come in the street man there, there's a lot of things that you might not necessarily get at, at the time when you first come in the street mm -hmm. or you know, you don't feel right with you, but that's because you're being transformed. Yeah. Okay. We're coming, you know, you're coming out from the world and how the world deals with things and you come to, into, into the truth, into this knowledge, the scriptures, man, and how the scriptures deals with things and it's not what you're used to. So yes, you have, you have to come accustomed to it. Okay. We are, we're having to reclaim things that, you know, claim things that were ours and, you know, a mindset that was ours mm -hmm. before we was indoctrinated right, in this in this world. Now, yeah, it may take a little time, man, but it shouldn't take too fucking long, man. Come on, man. Time. You know what I mean? I mean, there's there's some things you need to be, you know, settled with before before you might go out and teach and stuff like that because you need to be super to terms, man. Uh, it won't be persuaded in their own mind. So you have to you have to come to terms with certain things that you know you might some things might take you a little longer to, to come to terms with than others, but it shouldn't take you that long, man. You can't be in this truth a year and still be having doubts and thoughts about certain things. No, that's 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 way too long, man. You know, you're on the highways and barriers teaching, yet you still you, you ain't come to terms with shit. 
with certain things, you ain't right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ain't right in the spirit, man. Okay, you you've been you've been in the that that long, man. You should have already you already know the deal, man. Okay, you should have come to terms with those things. Okay, this, this is not about wrestling the whole time you're in this truth with, with the idea of the scriptures. That's just, that's not, we have to be teachers, man. We're not here to wrestle with the, wrestle the scriptures. <laughs> okay. We're not here to wrestle the scriptures, man. We need to hear, we're out here being certain of the scriptures, man, and convincing others. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you ain't convincing yourself, man, you ain't going to convince nobody else. Right. Okay, yes, it is about the Lord, who the Lord chooses and that. You know, to, to get understanding that, but you, you, you ain't, if you ain't decided in your own mind, man, you've got no position to teach. Okay. I've got, um, I've got an example of, um, men that wanted to deceive the hearts of the simple, you know, and guys that were teaching contrary to, to the true doctrine, man, uh, guys that should have been avoided, uh, as a reference to the time of the Apostle Paul. So this is 2 Timothy 2 and 16. But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness, and their word will eat as doth a canker. And Paul witnessed all these things throughout his travels to Ephesus and various other places. He says, of whom is Hermeneus and Philetus? So there's two examples right there. Who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already, and overthrown, overthrew the faith of some. And so what, what was happening back then is the exact same thing was happening now. People were leaving the truth and, and doing the wrong thing and, and deceiving people. It's the exact same situations, man. Okay, we were just going through this whole thing all over again, man. You think you're the only person that thought they got the truth outside the, the true doctrine? No, but all these guys, they were failures, man. They were lost. Okay, they, they departed from the Lord. They turned their back on the doctrine. Okay, and they were lost, man. And they were, they ended up being destroyed. Okay, thinking that they had some greater revelation. Okay, when they never had. So, um, just, uh, you know, when you Google who these people are, man, um, it tells you. Hermeneus and Alexander, which it tells you in the scripture in 1 Timothy 1 and 19, 20, but it says Hermeneus and Alexander are men in the early church in Ephesus who had suffered shipwreck with regard to with regard to their faith and so were handed over to Satan by the apostle Paul. So their faith was broken. Okay, they, they lost the faith. They lost the belief. Okay, they were, they were suffering too much. They were hurting too much spiritually. And they, they they couldn't hack it no more. Okay, they wanted they wanted to uh, you know ease things for themselves, like a lot of guys do. Hymenaeus and Alexander are thus examples of those who reject the true doctrine and follow the false. Later, Hymenaeus is mentioned with Philetus, another false teacher. Uh, Timothy, an opponent. That's uh, uh, Salakia. That's the scripture. It says an opponent. Of Paul named Alexander the metal worker is mentioned in 2nd Timothy 4 and 15 16 but whether or not his name all right so basically skipping forward it says Paul writes to his apprentice Timothy for the express purpose of exhorting him to fight the battle well fight the good fight of faith basically holding on to faith and good conscience okay so he was directed by Paul to, to combat them okay with these false doctrines Okay, when these false doctrines would arise, man, we, you know, Timothy would have to come and clear out the mess, man, mm -hmm. and teach, you know, contrary to what they were teaching. Okay, and that's all the men of GMS do. We, you know, we hear something, man, and, and we speak upon it, man. We, we explain why you're wrong, why you're going off. Okay, and that person gets rebuked. Now, what tends to happen is that people don't like being rebuked. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once they're told they're wrong, they want to make counter videos. No one, no one asked, this didn't have to be a debate. Mm -hmm. No one asked you to make a counter video. Okay. Well, unless, unless Apostle Taha, you know, commanded it. But no, no one required you to make a counter, a counter video to for you to buck up. Mm -hmm. No one, no one asked you to do that. Okay. But what happens is that they get hurt. They, they want to defend their position. They don't want to accept what 
you know, an order, a brother's, you know, you know, the, the true doctrine, they don't want to accept that. They want to put their doctrine across. So that's when they, they make all these, these uh, counter videos. And then this is when the back and forth starts coming. Because mm -hmm. if it was just from our end, it would just be a rebuke, you know, and a correction. That's what it would be. Mm -hmm. But then you want to make it a thing between us and you and all this kind of stuff. Personal, when, political. Yeah, when it really isn't about that. We're just, we're just correcting a fault in you. Take it, Showing add it love. to yourself. Exactly, you know, and, and be built. Mm -hmm. But you guys don't want to be built, man. You want to be right. <laughs> okay, you want to be right when you're, when you're obviously wrong. You don't want to be purged from that old man, man. You want to stay right. Mr. I'm correct. Mm. Uh, it says, Never, nevertheless, the foundation of Yahweh standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth, so you ain't fooling no one, and let everyone that nameth the name Yahweh Shai, the part of the name of Yahweh Shai, depart from iniquity. But in in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and si and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. Right, and the dishonorable vessels, man, they're they're well known. Okay, they're well known out there in the streets <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah, man, and the apostles gave them over to Satan. Mm -hmm. That's right. The destruction of the flesh. Uh, you know, and like I said, there's nothing we could do about that. I mean, we can only continue teaching the true doctrine. That's all we can do. And every time you want to come against us, man, that's all we're going to do. We're just going to correct what you're teaching. Yeah. Okay, and you want to, you know, become, you want to take it beyond that. You want to start bad mouthing people and, and start like a real demon. Then you go and get rebuked, man. Okay, you're going to get rebuked for the demon that you are. Okay. Um, oh, can you grab me Luke chapter 9 and verse 62, please? Oh, okay, sure. You know, because that's all it ever seems like, man. You know, people that fall out, they turn into to some little brats, man. Some uh, childish uh, brats. If I may, uh, just a quick precept. Uh, Hebrews 3 and 13. But exhort one another daily while it is called today lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. So that's what we do, man. We exhort each other to do the work, man. We don't quell or try to, uh, you know, you know, we're not, we're not, we're not babies out here, man. We've got a responsibility. So like brother said, if a brother's like, yo, man, what, what's going on? Man? What are you doing? Like, what are you saying mm. with, in terms of this truth? Like, where's your head at? Where's your faith at? You don't need to take it personal because a brother's really trying to exhort you to do well, to do more, man. Yeah, well, this thing, there's still a lot of emotional cats in, in GMS and these other camps, man. You know, they, you know something gets said to them and it's, they start taking that out, out, out of fucking proportion, man. You know, get very emotional about it, start getting insulted and offended and that, and start talking shit. You know, when they didn't need to be that, man. Okay, sometimes, like, rebuke is, it's a pointer, man. You know, you take advice, that's, that's what it is, it's advice, man. Things you should be doing. Okay, that, that's what it is, man. It's not a, a get down on you time. <laughs> yeah. You know, slam the guy to, 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 to nothingness. It ain't, slam that's, him, man. It, that's right. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't about slamming them, man. Okay, it's about building you up. Okay, but you have to, we have to take away them. them. Who is commanded? Well, yeah, we have, we have to remove that leaven that's within you still, man, because it will never leaven the whole up. So it's a process because you've not got rid of all your leaven yet. None of us have. They're still in, uh, in, in, um, what's that word? Um, and it's all iniquity in us, so to speak. That's not the word I'm looking for, but, you know, for lack of a better word. But, um, it's, you know, we're still a process, man. So there's things that we have to sort of eject from ourselves still. The scripture says, examine thyself daily. That's right. Because daily, you're going to have problems. Mm-hmm. You know, so you know when when the borough gets on you, man, it's, it's not to, it's not to break it down and to cast your way into the fucking darkness, man. Okay, it's just merely for you to reflect upon something, man, and to correct something in yourself, man. That's all the brother wants. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't fucking hate you, man. He doesn't hate you with a pure hatred. He wants you to get destroyed. Yeah. That, that's, that's brothers are not going around like that, man. <laughs> okay, if a brother gets on you, man, yeah, you might you might feel you know you might feel harsh and shit. You, know, you might even feel like you don't deserve it. 
well, fuck it, man. You're a man. Suck it up. You know, reflect on it, man. That's what that's what the Lord expects you to do. To suck it up, reflect on it, man. Is it true? Have a deep search within yourself, man. Is it true or whatever, man? You know, and come to that conclusion, man. Okay? Figure out a way to better yourself. The brother might have an insight to what you could be doing. Take heed, man. Okay? That's what it's all about. It's all about growth and development, man. There's, there's no point you being... How are you going to be perfect now? How are you not going to get rebuked ever? Like, that don't make no damn sense, man. Every brother gets rebuked at some point, man. You know, there's always something that we could we could be doing better. So if it, if the Lord has it he has it with the Spirit jumps on the brother to do that, take heed, okay? Because that's a that's a message from the Lord, man. Okay, yeah. don't forget, don't don't just think it's your brother speaking, man. Okay, because the Spirit has moved your brother to speak. Okay, so think about that. Okay, and do what's right. Uh, this is uh the word exhort. Para kaleo. If I'm pronouncing it correctly in the Greek, parakaleo, outline of biblical usage. The definition is to call to one side, call for, summon, to address, to speak to, uh, call upon, which may be done in the way of exhortation, entreaty, comfort, instruction, etc. To admonish, uh, to entreat, beseech, uh, to console, to encourage, to strengthen by a consolation, to comfort, which will comfort brothers through the scriptures, man, mm -hmm. which is with Yahweh Shai, man. So the words of Yahweh Shai, it might be, you know, it might be a brother might need help with something, or it might even just be to to bring a brother down a peg, like, look, man, you're going somewhere else, mm -hmm. you know. Um, to encourage, strengthen, to exhort, exhorting and comforting and encouraging, to instruct and to teach. Yeah, that's all I want to uh, bring out on that. Yeah, that's, um, that's the job, jobs that we have to do, man. You, know? you wanted uh, Luke? Yeah, Luke chapter 9, verse 62 up. Um, yeah, yeah Gabby, the first one up there. Well, yeah, brothers are too quick to get emotional and start start making making rash decisions and speak, you know, before before they've you know um, you know dwell dwell upon the matter, man. You know, rash speakers, man. Sometimes it's better to take a fucking backseat, man. Is they says sometimes it's wise not to say a damn thing, mm -hmm. you know. Can't be that wise. That's right. So, you know, sometimes you have to, if you know the scriptures, man. Sometimes you have to just reflect on those scriptures, man, thinking, oh shit, I'm getting a I'm getting an earful right now, man, but you know what? Well, yeah, yeah, just, you know, just, just, just allow it, innit, man? Just listen to what's being said, you know, have, have this, have this conversation done, then, then go back and, and, and uh, meditate on it, man. You know, they, they ain't about, it ain't about your pride, man. Oh, yeah, but man, shouting me down, he's saying this about me. Man, chill. You know, you don't have to, this is not about bravado, man, and, and you know, you know Oh, I've got to stand up for myself because my man is talking to me like this. Oh, fuck that, man. No one cares. Because at the end of the day, man, you, it's, it's all about your salvation, man. I probably don't, ain't going to care if, um, no. <laughs> well, he's going to care that you, that, you, that, you, that you get saved, man. Obviously, that's why you, you, know, you get rebuked because he's trying to save your soul, man. But, you know what I mean? But you, you want to start acting all macho and shit. You know, no, we don't care about that, man. At the end of the day, Lord gonna judge every man according to his works, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what everybody probably needs to be mindful about, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you don't have to feel like you have to justify yourself all the damn time. You don't have to look the part in front of men. Man. This ain't about men, mm -hmm. right? Uh, this is Luke nine and sixty two, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow as the spirit, I have to spud you. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna get that, you know. And then you, uh, you got, you had it anyway. Luke nine sixty two. And Yahushai said unto him, uh, "No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh." That's right, man. So going back to the the whole point with you know knowing the truth, you know, and leaving the truth is is better than you did, didn't know it at all, man. You know, you started this work, man. You you are ob obligated to finish it. Okay, there is no out. Okay, once you started this word, there is no out. You could feel like you're not, you like you're not in it. Okay, but 
the judgment you just occurred upon yourself was worse than when you wasn't in the truth, man, before you was in the truth. You know? Because to turn away from righteousness, to turn away from the truth is a grave offense, man. How wicked must you be? That you know you had the truth and you just you thought, oh, fuck that. I'm, I'm not down with that. Then you're, you're, you're evidently, a, a, you know, against the light, against righteousness, man. Okay? And that's why you end up worse than, you know, you end up worse than at the end of it all than before you came in this truth, man. Okay, you become a bigger demon than you was even in the world beforehand. Okay? Yeah, please, sir. Turn up. Matthew 24 and 46. Blessed is that servant whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him a ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delay of his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken people in the world, the Lord of that servant shall come in, in a day when he looketh not for him, and in, a, in an hour that he is not aware of. So, yeah, you're going to reap of that judgment, man, because the day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night, man. So when those race riots, you're going to be in the midst of that, man. Other mm -hmm. brothers are going to be marked with, with an exemption, and you're going to be marked with them cats that you want to side with, man. Yeah. And shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So you're going to be caught out there, man. I mean, guess all these guys are, man, just hypocrites, man. You know, they all want to appear righteous, but they're not. They're doing all kind of madness. You know, it's like that, what's that dude, man, that fucking, that fucking nature dude, that black dude, man, that fucking just got, um, he got outed for having that gay porno, man. And he was happy that he was that. The one, the guy that was talking about, oh, he lets his, his, his children play with his penis and shit like that. Fucking hell. You know, it, like, you trying to send a rationals, yeah, you know, I feel, I feel, you know, comfortable with my kids to do this and do that, have sex with his mother in front of them and all this kind of madness. And he, he, he's trying to pile it off like that's okay. <laughs> you know, he, he, in his mind, that's, that's fine. You know, but, yeah. but no, nigga, you're all fucked up. You're all fucked up. And now, you know, come <laughs> not too recently, man, that he, he's being ramrodded up the anus by some, some Edomites, man. And that's, that's why he's fucking bugged that. You know, but, that, that that way is not righteous, man. That that is that is off. Okay, I can't even, I can't even while, while, while I'm speaking on it now. I'm going off a, I feel like I'm going off a tangent or something, man. But you know, I, it's disturbing. You know, it, it's, it's it's messed up, man. But these guys, man, they need to be destroyed. You're gonna be judged with these other guys, man. Damn. You know, guys like that. Those guys. You know, <laughs> and it, it, it's fucking hell, man. First uh, John two and nineteen. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. Right. So at the end of the day, there's, there's been wicked of, you know, wicked members of GMS. Okay. The Lord has always revealed them at some point. Okay. And, and got rid of them. I mean, I'm sure there's still men that the Lord is going to get rid of, you know, in, inside GMS, you know, but. At the end of the day, if they if they if they fall off, then that just means they weren't part of the elect. They weren't part of the chosen, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you know we ain't gonna lose no sleep over guys like that. You know, they they become a thorn. Uh, they become an irritation. I wouldn't say they become a thorn in our side because they're not really coming with anything in terms of this this the doctrine and the truth and that. You know, but they they you know they, they you know the guys like the Avengers and shit. You know, just doing madness, man, talking bad shit. You know, they they become an irritation, you know, but, you know, it is what it is. You, you don't care that much, you know what I mean? But you, you can just see, man, you've just developed into a, a greater demon, man. You know what I mean? There's something that we have to put up with being around. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. All right, so guys like that, they weren't of us, man. Okay, and that's why we say, Lord willing, that you know, Lord keeps us in this thing, man, to the very end. You know, you don't want to end up like those guys that are fed off, man. You know, 
we don't want to end up like that because we know the fate of those of those people like that are. You know, they wax worse and worse, man. Okay, and it's going to end up in a destruction. Okay, yeah, that was it on that. Yeah. All right. Uh, next one is Matthew twelve. Yeah, I'll shut up. I'm forty three. Mm-hmm. This is uh, Matthew twelve verse forty three. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Yeah, that's right, man. So like I said, man, they know when you fall out, man, you're looking for something to replace what it is that you're dealing with, man. You know, you don't believe this is the truth anymore. So you're looking for some other truth now. And, you know, you're up in the air with shit. You're trying to come to come to terms with shit and reason with certain things and come up with your own idea, basically. And that's what you guys come up with, your own own ideas your own opinions you know then you know you go you go back and you end up being worse than the guy, the guy you was even you know before all this man because the spirits just jump on you man they fuck your shit up man mm-hmm. okay you might have demons on you beforehand man but you got twice three times as many more demons on you now hey demon demons love doubt mm. if you, you you gotta believe one of the same faith, faith, man. Weapons, man. <laughs> you know Lack, lack of faith and lack of um, doubt of your hour shy, man. Thinking that, look, man, maybe the Lord ain't coming. <laughs> That's what some guys will get them demons in their head. There's, there's, there's Satanists and all kind of um, wicked people out there, man, praying and trying to, trying to send demons to fuck with man's in the mm. truth. You know, that's why prayer is important, man. To, 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 to counteract that, man. All right, and if you're a real man of the Lord, there's nothing that uh, wicked that they do that can prosper against you, man. All right, but you gotta have faith. So yeah, Satan, Satan loves a bit of doubt, man. Come for a bit of doubt pie in in a guy's heart, man, and mm-hmm. destroy all all that all that he thought he had. Yeah. Well, maybe the the earth isn't round. <laughs> yeah. Know, maybe, maybe it's doubt. Flat. Doubt. You know, it's, it's all this madness. Like, I mean, damn things are not even important. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man? Satan get, get, gets you out of something like that, man. You, you know the Lord is... Uh, you you can, know, I didn't want these guys anyway. <laughs> hey, even in the world, if you've got some sort of status, mm. all that people... They don't have to prove you wrong. All that people have to do is create doubt just to destroy your credibility. Yeah. And then, and then you're, you're just through. You know, but people get... You know, watching people for like, you know... People get caught out by the most strangest of things sometimes. You're just thinking, well, what the hell is going through their mind? You know, but it's all the Lord's work and, and the Lord's doing, man. He don't want you in this thing, this thing of ours, man. People don't like that term, <laughs> this thing of ours, man. But, you know, the Lord don't want you a part of that. So the Lord got you out, man, because he found something in you that wasn't right. I mean, there's, you know, there's, there's, all, there's things in all of us that, you know, <laughs> needs to be worked on, obviously. But, you know, he, he found something that, he, you know, he's like, nah, you ain't. You ain't a part of this, man. Okay, you, you know, you, you you ain't gonna get the mercy. You know? And like I said, that's the Lord's prerogative at the end of the day, man. You know, we don't decide these things. Okay, it, it just becomes evident to us who it is the Lord's, you know, doing away with, man. Okay, we just, we just out here, you know, um, commentating on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how was it when it um yeah second timothy 3 and yeah. 12. yea and all that will live godly in in yeah. yahweh shai shall suffer persecution so we're gonna go through things we're gonna have hard times man you know we, we know that's part and parcel man if you don't pull up to that man again this thing ain't for you man you know? yeah you don't you don't just you don't just go and teach this work have guys um hate you revile you and so forth and then go hide in the corner no you Keep going. Yeah, you, you wear that shit. <laughs> you know, you wear that badge, man. You know, like I said, we didn't come into this truth believing that, you know, we was going to be beloved of the people and we were going to get fame and status and respect. And now that's, we, we expected the complete opposite, man. 
Okay, mm-hmm. we, we've not done this for our own gain in ter- in, in the short term gain of things. Mm-hmm. Okay, we don't, you know, we don't expect no accommodation and, and stuff from people, yeah, like, man. You this know, happened here, to me today. Well done. I deserve five star hotel. <laughs> you know, well done. You, Quality. You, you done this today, and you know, survived this, and no, nah, you know, that, that's this was this that issue was never about that, man. You just need to read the account of the Lord and everything that He went through, man. It, it, his life wasn't fun. <laughs> Okay, his life wasn't, you know, rosy, man. You know, he had a job to do, a serious job to do. And he went through hell to finish that job. Okay, he went through all kinds of manner of things to complete his job. Okay, and we're in that same, you know, in that same sort of circumstance. And we've got a job to do. And, you know, we've got to suffer to do this job. Okay, that may, that we may be glorified at the end of it all. You know, but this isn't a fame thing. This isn't, a, you know, oh, I want to be liked by people and stuff like that. Cause these like these other camps, man. They want that. They 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 want that. You know, they want they want that big community. And like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Hebrew is a light, and you know, they they you know think they command respect, and yeah. you know all this kind of I mean, have throwing parties and shit. But life ain't really like that, man. If you're a real disciple of the Lord, life ain't like that. Okay, life ain't like that at all. Okay, you you'll be, you'll be prepared for for sufferings, man. Okay. He says. Um... Verse 16. So like, yeah, um, that's Second Timothy's three, and um, verse 15. And that from a child that has known the Holy Scripture, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Yahweh Shai. All Scripture is given by inspiration of of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. For instruction in righteousness. Right. So if if all these things is through the inspiration of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Ghost, then also the men that he set up is all inspiration, surely. And then the things that come out the, the apostles' mouths are inspiration also, because that's who the Lord is dealing with. So if a command goes out, that's what it is. You gotta take it like it was a command from the Lord, <laughs> okay? Because that's who the Lord is dealing through, man. Okay, just like the Lord was dealing through Peter. Okay, and the other apostles, man. It's like Peter said something, man. You, it better be done. Okay, or or you might end up, you know, giving up the ghost like um, Sapphira and Ananias, man. You know, telling lies and shit. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? They, they, someone's been set up over us, man, to to guide us. Okay, now you got a problem that is 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 the, the elders, the our apostles, you know, from Apostle Tar. Um, downwards, and it's again, it's been ain't for you, <laughs> okay? You you will be destroyed, okay? Because there ain't these other clowns out here. There ain't no other leaders in the nation of Israel at this point in time, man. All, all the rest of these other cats are clowns, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, General Yohanna and and Nate and 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 fuck else, man. <laughs> fuck you. Mm-hmm. Any of these Who clowns, are man. they? Who are they? Who are their names? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> if thou can tell. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. No, but for, for like you know H O D D C and all these guys, all these other you know alphabet group camps, you know their leaders and so on and so forth. If you don't believe, you know, if you don't believe it's the elders, the apostles of G M S, man, then you're wasting your time with this truth. Full stop. You know, you don't like have have, have things are, are done. Again, you know, you know, there's not much hope for you, man. You gotta come around to that, I guess. Hey, so like, yeah, I did jump the gun a bit, a couple of verses down, so. Come on. Read from verse 13 because there is a lot more to this um, chapter. It says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, mm. deceiving and being deceived. All right, so you know, you, you wax worse and worse. Like I said, you pull out, you wax worse and worse. You, you deceive and you're being deceived, man. Okay, and it continues to go that way. You're con- you continue, you, you are, you continue <laughs> to, to be deceived. Turn to, the, yeah, turn to his vomit. <laughs> You know? But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of. All right, and that's from the elders and the apostles, man. The things that we learned, the, these things that we were taught by from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Okay, we had no we had no other teachers from the beginning, man. So why would you depart and make yourself a teacher to your own self? You know? And or, that... or, or take heed unto somebody else, some other crazy dude that has an idea, an opinion. And you take his opinion on board. This guy ain't nobody. And has been assured of. 
knowing of whom thou hast learned them. That's right. So I mean, you got to know the source, man. Okay, because if you're saying the apostles, you know, are not the men of the Lord, then you're saying somebody else is, or you're saying that you are. Okay, and that the Lord is directly dealing with you and, and giving you all the revelations and you know, you're just on that level, or you think somebody else is on that level, then who is it then? If it's not the elders, the apostles of GMS, who is it? Is it yourself? Is it another alphabet camp group? Who is it, man? Because it's got to be somebody, man. You have, we, we learned this truth from somebody. You didn't get it from yourself. None of us did. Okay, so it's just continuing the things that thou has learned that we are short of, man. Yeah, like the like the mark of the beast, man. Where, where you where do you get that from, man? You know that when you when you're just walking in the world, all right? No, you you got the breakdown of what the mark of the beast was because of the apostles. The R- yeah, for those who believe that, you actually believe that it's RFID because you are guys that are denying even that. Yeah, you know, and you know, there's no hope for you, man. <laughs> okay, unless you repent and you you, know, you come to that, you, you get the revelation on that. But you, the revelation is what the elders apostles said it was. Yeah. Okay, it wasn't some new thing. Okay, but if you believe it's Johanna with his embargo and shit, yeah, you're down a fucking mind. Yeah. Or if you believe it's Nate and it's nothing to worry about, <laughs> yeah, you're down a mind. Okay, so you know it's, it's only one, it's only one, one uh, set of elders and apostles, man, that uh, uh, the Lord is dealing with, man. You know, and they, they, they're, they're men underneath them. Okay, and, and we believe that to be our elders and our apostles of GMS, man. Okay, so we're going to follow in their footsteps, man. And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, through faith which is in Yahweh Shai. All Scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh, and is profitable for doctrine, or repro- for reproof, mm-hmm. for correction, yeah, this is beautiful, man. Damn. I'm going to read this verse 16 again because this, this encapsulates everything we've been going into, yeah. man, through the Spirit of Yahweh. All scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for, recre- for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Right. So who knows righteousness better than the elders and apostles that teaches this truth? Yeah. Okay, like, like I said, if they say something, man, it's for your own benefit. Mm-hmm. Okay, for you to reject that, man, is rejecting the Lord. It's as simple as straight as that, man. You don't believe in in how the Lord is dealing with things. You don't believe how Shai is dealing through the, the apostles. Mm-hmm. Then you, you know, all you, you what you're doing is rejecting the Lord mm-hmm. and His commandment. Okay, because the elders don't just come out of stuff, man. Okay, it's filtered. Okay, it's filtered through the elders and it. And the apostles and it's, it comes down to us for whatever that needs that needs to be said to us man okay and then it's then it's you know where your spirit is like it clicks with that yeah okay i'm down with that mm-hmm. or if you're not and that's where we find that where guys start to fall off man because they don't like crap. certain things you know yeah. just like the men that was following yahweh shy didn't like certain things so they slowly dropped off yep you know the lord never kept every, every disciple that followed him because they weren't meant, they weren't meant to be kept. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's obviously going to be people that are going to fall by the wayside. Scripture says many are called, but few are chosen. That's right. So brothers that are teaching this truth right now, we're called, but you ain't chosen till you get on the chariot, man. Mm, so you got to pray that you're chosen, man. That's right. That's why Paul said, um, like the brother was saying, the apostles are the example, the examples of men to be like and follow after. That's why the mm-hmm. apostle Paul said. Uh, Follow after me, even as I follow, I'm a follower of Yahweh Shai. That's right. All right. And what part of one of the examples is he said he was a, a prisoner of Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. So so he went through hell. You going to go through hell. Mm-hmm. And Yahweh Shai went through hell. That's right. So, 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 so how much more us, man? But guys want to buck up against that. Last verse 17, it says that the man of Yahweh may be perfect through thoroughly furnished unto all good works all right because at this point in time we're not perfect okay every every day is you know we've been refined to be made perfect but we're not perfect okay so anything that comes down is is to refine us to make us better than we were before okay you might not like it but it's going to make you better (laughs) okay than you was before okay 
So you have to you have to think about that. You think that like, I don't have to change nothing about myself. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm I'm all right. I'm, you know, I do this work and that. Yeah, but it's more than that. The, the, this whole truth is more than just going out on the highways and byways and making videos and stuff, man. It's about your own growth and development too. Okay, and like I said, everything goes hand in hand, man. But we have we have to be a a, a, a well-rounded package, man. Okay, faith and works, you know, they have to be a package. So you gotta believe that you gotta believe the things that we read about and things we hear, things that are commanded unto us, man. Okay, we're all here to 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 be refined, man, because we're not we're not the finished article yet, far from it. Okay, we're all working to get there, even though we know that we can't fully become perfect until Yahweh comes back and you know does what he needs to do, man. I've got the um, the word furnish here. Um, Esar Tezo uh, in the Greek. It says um, to complete, to finish, to furnish perfectly. Just like you've got um, a guy that does um, is a chippy or works with wood. When you see those things in the shop, they look at it, they 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 polish it, they sand it, they mm. polish it, they sand it, and they go, it's a work, you know what I mean? Mm. But eventually, when it goes on that shelf, you know the the day's end. That that's perfect, man. That's ready for 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 um to be purchased. Mm-hmm. The same with this truth, man. You gotta be furnished. And by furnish, I'm gonna read more um, Strong's definitions. It says here, uh, to equip fully a teacher to accomplish so to be accomplished as a teacher you gotta study all right and you also gotta go through things that most people people ain't going through a certain subject you gotta you gotta have experience right mm-hmm. so you gotta experience things with the things that, that you're learning as well as applying uh, uh, uh teaching those things you're gonna apply those things to yourself so you're being furnished um so so I'll read that verse 17 again. It says that the men, the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. When you practice those things that you, you preach. One second, I just wanted to search that quickly. Words. I think you wanted Revelation. Yeah, I do. I want to finish on this. I want to get four. Okay. Um, See, man, a lot of guys try to gain, say, but they can't go anywhere or be anywhere close to what um, the apostles and elders are going through, man, or been through. You know, a lot of guys take hiatuses. A lot of them um, have their little, the vain moments, and then you don't see them anymore, man. Luke nineteen twenty seven, please say. Yep, uh, Luke nineteen twenty seven. Uh, now this is what Yahweh Shai himself said. This is Luke nine nineteen and twenty seven. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. All right, so you reject the Lord, man. Okay, you don't want him to to rule over you. Okay. Because you, you believe in something else, you want to, you know, you don't believe that you should have someone rule over you, that kind of stuff. You have a shot in playing games. He don't be put to death. Okay, and that goes the same, you know, as if you didn't, you, you don't agree with the doctrine. Okay, that's the same thing, because Yahweh Shai is the word. If you reject the doctrine, you reject Yahweh Shai. Okay, you're, 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 uh, you know, you, those that are, that are in the street, man, you've betrayed him, you've gone, you've gone against him. Yeah, bastards. You know, and the Lord will put you to death for that. Okay, so it's it's not a game, man. It's not a thing to be taken lightly. Or you know, oh, I don't like GMS. I'm gonna I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna teach. Th- I don't believe that teach that doctrine. I'm gonna teach this. It's not a light thing to do, man. Okay, you're messing with shit. You shouldn't be messing with, man. Okay, you know, excuse my French, but it's you know, it's not a wise thing to do, man. But people are quick to add on sin unto sin. You know, because it doesn't just stop with, oh, I don't believe in that. It becomes a whole, <laughs> a whole thing. Okay. A whole thing with you, man. 
you know, and then you develop all this hate, this, all this hatred, and all you're doing is hating your Howard Shire. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you don't, you, and you can't see that. Okay? But yeah, I'll, this is my last one. This is Revelations 21, verse 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his, his power, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers. So the fearful man, those who have doubt, oh, yeah. unbelieving, doubt, who don't believe. Okay? Just like Judas had doubt. He didn't, didn't want Yahweh to, to, to do, or he didn't believe Yahweh was who he said he was. Mm -hmm. You know? There's, there's judgment for betraying the Lord, betraying this work. Okay. But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. All right. So that's the great judgment from the Lord, man. You are, you're going to be, you're going to participate in that. Okay. Un, unwillingly, of course. Okay. Because you ain't going to want to receive that judgment. Okay, I'm sure we're all in it, believing that we want to be saved. Mm -hmm. Okay, but some of you clowns, man, you're doing you're doing works that are gonna, you know, contribute the complete opposite. You know, but like I said, you hate you hate the doctrine, you hate Yahweh Shai. If you hate the brothers, you hate Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai said it himself. You know, so like like I said, man, there's, there's a lot that has gone on over the years with people falling out and how they how they act. Or how they react and how they act afterwards, man, which is completely, you know, completely off, man. Okay, and the Lord is gonna, you know, He's gonna give you that judgment, man. Okay, because you you betrayed Yahweh Shai ultimately. That's what that's what it comes down to. You you betrayed everything, everything that He was taught. You betrayed it. Okay. Um, John fifteen and eighteen. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Just to back the brother up on that, on, on his point that he made. But going back to Revelations, the 21st chapter, that just shows you that um, you can't, we're not here to convince everyone, man. There's going to be people that you just can't, can't convince, yeah. all right? And you got to just keep it moving, keep it pushing, and just seek ye your own salvation, like the scriptures say, man. We go out there and we teach them, man. That's why um, it says, uh, I think it's in the Old Testament, that you know we go out to warn our brothers to to clear our hands from the to wash our hands of their blood but yeah. once we've told you that's on you that ain't yeah, on it's us in your own hands now you know or the most highest hands should i put it like that you know but as the boys in your coat you know sort of saying goes we, we've done our part we've told you if you want to reject the lord okay because, because it might be something you don't like it's always you know a person's always picky or i don't like the person that delivered that or I don't, I don't, you know, I don't like that, you know, I don't like that doctrine, or I don't believe in the Bible. There's always a, a, a multitude of excuses why someone doesn't want to hear something, you know. But you don't want to hear it. what you're doing is rejecting Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's what that's what you're doing. You're rejecting us. You're rejecting Yahweh Shai. You know, you're rejecting, you know, salvation basically. Okay, you ain't gonna be saved. You don't want to be saved. You want, you want, to, you want to rule. Well, you want to continue being ruled over like you're being ruled over now, under 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 Satan, under Esau. Okay, but like I said, there's, there's no there's no real coming back. You, once you betrayed the Lord, man, that's it. You put your hand to the work, and you, you know, said you, you know you were down for the cause and that, and you go back on that. That's a betrayal, man. And you know, the only judgment he's, that you're gonna get is death, and a, a whole one at that. You know, just like Judas mm -hmm. um, experienced. Okay, so you know, with that, brothers, I'm gonna say shalom. Yeah, shalom, okay. Mark, yeah. A double honor unto the elders. Okay, all praise Yahweh Hashem. Shalom, honor to the elders, the apostles of the GMS, and honor to the brothers and the highest by the teaching of sincerity. Till next time, shalom. Hey, shalom, man.